UndergroundHipHopBlog.com exclusive. What's going on? This is Pause One representing UndergroundHipHopBlog.com. We're right here in Carson, California with none other than Mr. CR. Yeah, what's going on, man? Mr. CR, you know what I mean? I brought the good life bullies with me too, you know what I mean? Sure. Ha! Convict keeping the P is non negotiable vibes of criminal knowledge. Y'all don't know me yet, but you will. Kazoo, the West Coast Vandal, representing, you know what's happening, good life bullies. UTI, NTS. What's up, y'all? So I wanted to talk to you. I saw you perform right now, and, and one of the things that I heard was uh, was the delivery. I'm, I'm a fan of the delivery that you have. It's a lot different from a lot of traditional West Coast rappers. So I wanted to ask you, like, what influenced the delivery to, to make it more fast-paced? And there's a lot of syllables and the whole delivery that you came with. All right, well, you know, what influenced me, you know, I've been doing this shit for many moons now, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of older or whatnot, but back in the day when we was, like, young teenagers, we used to fuck with some shit called the Good Life Cafe. It was kind of like a, a, a West Coast version of the Showtime at the Apollo type of thing. You know, when you sign the list, there's no cussing and all that type of stuff, and you just had to come with some shit or the crowd was going to please pass the mic your ass. And when I say please pass the mic your ass, the whole crowd going to be like, please pass the mic. I mean, that was like they created a way of booing the motherfucker off stage, so you had to come with your A game. And then plus, you know what I mean, you talk about as far as the style and all that, I was influenced by a lot of the motherfuckers I was looking up to at that time that was doing their shit. You know what I mean? My nigga L.A. Cool, the rifleman standing right here, you know what I mean? My nigga uh, Convict, you know, my nigga uh, the Free Step Fellowship and all that type of shit that was going on at that time, you know what I mean? Niggas had talent. Yeah, it was about talent. You either had to have the talent to get a deal all the way. Nothing that You know what I mean? And, and do you feel like a lot of people... Let's go. You feel like a lot of people all over, not just on the West Coast, and East Coast, all over the world, were influenced by that specific style, the delivery that you guys have. I, I, would, I think so, but I, you know, motherfuckers don't want to like admit it, that shit, you know what I mean? And then it, it's like, you got a lot of people that'll be like, oh, well, you sound like such and such, you sound like such and such. But well, that's not necessarily true. We niggas been doing this shit for a long time. But them motherfuckers just got the deal. You see what I'm saying? So the, the world, the world know it as that. They think they they doing it, but that shit been going on. You know what I mean? Like you, shit like you know where it came from. Yeah, it chop pie. ain't even a question. We know yeah, where it came pie. from, man. We started that. So this, you know what? I'm I'm glad that this influence worldwide. I'm glad it's just flows worldwide, and I'm glad. And, uh, okay, that hold up. Hey, and let it be known that I'm standing next to the guy that's th that came up with that term, chop pop. You know what chop I mean? Pop, baby. It came from my brain. Right yeah. Yeah. That's a new yeah. genre. We yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's another thing. Oh, how do you guys feel about the uh, state of hip, uh, West Coast hip hop? Not just hip hop, but I'm saying West, West Coast, Coast specifically, because we're on the West right now, in Carson, California. How you guys feel about it? Well, West Coast? I, 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 I just say, I mean, as far as the state of West Coast hip hop, as far I mean, I see. Well, I mean, we can take that. That's like a two-part question. Do you mean as far as the industry, or do you mean as far as the underground? Well, the underground motherfuckers still doing that shit. It's just the world don't know that because you know what I mean. Ain't nobody shedding no light to the shit. You know what I mean? But as far as as far as the, the network where I be at, the airline and urban underground motherfucking all that. As far as West Coast hip hop, I mean, that shit going. Now, as far as the industry go, I don't know what they got going on with that, you know what I mean? It's a lot of niggas that's gay, you know what I mean? You don't have to have skill or, or lyrics to, you got some niggas in the interviews, they're like, man, I don't give a fuck about lyrics. I'm like, that shit crazy, nigga. When I used to listen to shit, I used to like to li li listen to a motherfucker break my back. We'd be at school like, nigga, you heard what he just said? Like, you heard, that nigga killed it, but now these niggas don't give a fuck about lyrics, that shit garbage. How you gonna be a rapper and not give a fuck about lyrics? So, yeah, there's, there's a lack of, uh, lack of lyricism, just in general in hip hop, but, uh, I gotta give it up to you guys for bringing that back and, and representing and doing your thing. How do you feel about not just influence, because people say influence, but they're actually biting. How do you feel about the unwritten laws like in hip hop with the whole biting and shit like that? Well, I'm like, I'm like this. It seems like uh, as the years pass and shit, it seems like like motherfuckers is getting passes now, you know what I mean? Bite niggas should take that shit serious. You man, you bite man, we gonna have to battle over that, or you gonna get your ass whooped though, either way it go, you know what I mean? But either way it go, if you if I, if, if we in public and I you, you on stage and I'm in the crowd, yeah, you on yeah, yeah, if you on stage and I'm in the crowd and I feel like you sounding like my shit, I mean we gonna have to resolve that situation either two ways. If you don't wanna battle me or you gonna get your ass whooped. So when you, day, how we used to roll on. At the good life of the flow, we roll right up on the spot, right to their face. We call them out, and they even gonna battle. And we call it rap, cap, or scrap. So when you bite, you either gonna have to rap, cap, or scrap. That's just how it went back in the day. Now it's a lot of you get past it these days. Though, you know? Like, like people are like, oh, it's yeah, it's like a, a humility or, or a, what they say, um, thievery. Um, what was that right. say? The highest form of flattery? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the highest form. Yeah, what you know that right. shit? Hey, ninety percent of the shit out there right now, man, is written by somebody else. <laughs> 
Straight up. Yeah. They call them ghost writers. They call them, uh, I mean, we, we don't come from that cloth. We ain't cut from that. I mean, if a motherfucker couldn't write his own rap, he ain't had no business rapping. Facebook, you know what I'm saying? So, quote that shit. So, with the, so with the good life bullies, Mr. CR, you guys, what's the direction you guys are trying to take it in now? Are you guys? Well, see, basically, being the fact that you know they say the majority of people in the world right now nowadays is stupid, right? So basically, you know, we've been doing this underground killing niggas for years, right? So basically, what we're doing is we uh, uh, we dumbing it down for you slow, stupid motherfuckers, right? And then once you once you get attracted to that, once it's like a fish hook, once you get hooked in with that. And buy the whole CD, you gonna listen to some cuts, and then we gonna show you how, how, how niggas get down, you know what I mean? We gonna give you the, we gonna give you the, we gonna give you the appreciate you can have that, that's yeah. our, that's our, that's our, that's our music like, with the, there, Yeah, with the Good Life Bullet shit, we got a variety yeah, of everything, we got underground hip hop, we got, that, we got all that shit, you know what I mean, all rolled in the one pot. So you guys cover all bases, and then the live show is definitely on point, so yeah. I gotta give you props for coming and, through. And, and, if, and, if, and if any of these rappers out there feel like they got a problem with what a motherfucker said, man, we could battle and all that. All that, we could battle and all that. I'll take it back to bed. We ain't, we ain't even gotta fight another, we could battle. We go back and forth. If I lose, I'll just <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And I wanna get up to y'all, man, for like really like taking the time, man, to really like give real hip hop a chance for us going viral with it. Because we know this time and now for this shit. And uh, you know, we working real hard on different projects. I mean, we got like four in the making as we speak. You know, so uh, I'm gonna give it up to y'all hip hop, you know, internet thing for sure. And uh, it's gonna be a whole lot coming from this crew, man. The Good Life Bullies, bitch. CR, right from here. Hey, Facebook, Good Life Bullies. Facebook, YouTube, Good Life Bullies. Good Life Bullies. YouTube, TV. Good Life Bullies TV. Hey, I'd like to give a shout out to undergroundhiphopblog.com. Good Life Bullies, bitch. You know what I mean? UndergroundHipHopBlog.com rule. This is Pause One Live in Carson, California, representing Underground Hip Hop Blog. Mr. CR, Good Life Bullies, peace. No, let's go I knew them niggas was from Carson. UndergroundHipHopBlog.com exclusive.